Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. Today we're going to be doing a class that was requested by a few of you and this is yin yoga with straps. So we'll be using a strap today and if you don't have a strap at home, don't worry about it. Just grab a belt or even a scarf or a piece of clothing. Anything can really work, even a dish towel. And in this practice, we'll focus on opening up through the leg line. So we'll be focusing on our hamstrings and our IT band. And this is a really great three-part stretch that is easy for anybody to do at home. So we'll get started by grabbing our prop and then coming onto our back. And as we come onto our back, let's come into a resting pose and take a few moments to feel into our body. So we'll bend our knees and bring our feet hip distance apart. Adjust slightly so that your pelvis is at a neutral position and relax through the hip creases, relaxing the psoas muscle and widen through your feet, feeling all four corners of your feet rooted to the ground and you can relax your palms open drawing one shoulder and then the other slightly underneath you and resting the base of the skull to the ground. And take a few breaths here to become receptive and relaxed through your whole body. Allowing for the easy movement of energy through the body, through the leg line. Taking one more full breath. And then exhale with open mouth. And we'll keep the left leg as it is and we'll hug our right knee close towards the chest, compressing the thigh bone to the lower abdomen relaxing through the lower back on the right side. Interlace your fingers to the shin bone and let's pause here for a couple of breaths, massaging the internal organs. And then we'll extend our left leg onto the mat, flexing through the left foot. If this feels too intense, you can always keep that knee bent at any point during these postures. And then we'll reach for a strap or a belt and we'll place that around the ball of the foot. So right at the top of the foot, curling your toes back towards the chest and then reach your heel up towards the sky. And as you're reaching the heel up, gently extend through the leg line without locking the knee and slide your palms down the strap so that you can relax the shoulder blades and the shoulders away from your ears. You want to stay soft and relaxed through the upper body. Feeling the thigh bone connect down into the hip socket. And keep curling toes to chest. You can close your eyes here and start to feel into the back of your leg, into the deeper tissue, into the tendons and the ligaments. And again, if you do notice too much tension through the hands or the arms, just notice that and soften a little bit. Moving into an awareness of your breath, in and out through your nose. I like to imagine my breath moving up and down the back of the leg, relaxing the hamstrings. Perhaps drawing 
the leg an inch or two closer towards the body. If you'd like, you can walk your palms an inch or two further up on the strap without building tension through the arms. Keeping the knee relaxed and thigh bone dropping. And can you extend your heel up a little bit more? And then take both sides of your strap into your right hand. And take your left hand and place that on top of your left hip to the bump at the top of the hip. You wanna keep your pelvic bowl neutral. So the left hip stays rooted to the ground as you draw the right leg slightly open to the right. Thigh bone continues to hug into the hip socket. Relax the arm. Bringing some traction to the inner leg line. Again, your pelvis stays neutral and the left, left hip stays on the ground. Toes curling back towards your chest. Breath moving up and down the inner leg line. Allowing the right leg to become heavy. Drawing the navel center back. And if you need more lower back support, you'll bend your left knee again, placing the foot on the floor. And then let's slowly lift the right leg up. And as the right leg comes up, let's take both sides of the strap in the left palm this time. And we're gonna open up through the IT band from the outer hip and all the way through the outer thigh towards the outer knee. And we'll start by just drawing the leg a few inches across the midline of the body. So we're going to progress a little bit deeper, but let's start here and take a few breaths. Again, being mindful of your knee, softness through that knee. And then you might feel some release all the way down the side of the leg, even towards your pinky toe, opening up the meridian lines through the legs. And now we'll go a little bit deeper. We're shifting all the way over to the left hip, onto the left side body, coming into a bit of a twist. You can open your right palm alongside the shoulder and you can bring your ankle in line with your hip. Maybe you're turning your head over to the right. If that feels too intense, bring your head back to center. And again, allow your right leg to become heavy.
keep pressing your heel away from the body. A few more breaths. And hugging the navel center back, let's lift the right leg all the way up. Bend your knee again, relax the strap off to the side. Hug the knee to your chest, take a big breath here, and on the exhalation, round your spine, bringing the forehead to your knee. Relax your head back, and then let's drop the right knee over to the armpit, and we'll make a few wide circles through the hip joint. Moving first in one direction and then reversing the circle and moving away and in. Letting the knee drop back to the armpit and take a breath or two here. Just letting the thigh bone hang. And then circle your ankle a few times, switching directions. And we'll hug the knee back to the chest and we'll place the right foot to the ground. Let's bend both knees. Both knees hug into our chest, big breath in. And exhale. Keep your left knee hugging to your chest, right foot comes back to the ground. Take a few breaths here. Compressing the thigh bone to the lower abdomen on the left side. And you might be extending the right leg all the way to the ground. Remember that you can always modify by keeping the knee bent. And then we'll take our strap again and bring that around the ball of the left foot sliding the strap down the hands and curling the toes towards our chest. Shoulders soft and relaxed, hands relaxed. So sometimes we can unconsciously grip a lot with the hands, I know that I do. So I have to remind myself just to relax, keeping a light grip. Finding that little bit of softness through the left knee so that energy can flow through the joint. And the thigh bone dropping down into the hip socket so that you feel the pelvis is heavy and relaxed. Your lower back relaxed. Closing your eyes and returning your awareness to the back of your leg. Breath drawing up and down the leg line. You might find that your leg draws a little bit closer towards you without too much strain. Palms might slide up or down the strap. Staying aware so that you can feel the shifts through the tissue of the leg. And then take both straps, sides of the strap, into your left hand, rooting the right hand down onto the top of your hip. And again, finding the neutral alignment of the pelvis Keep the thigh bone connected into the hip socket so that as you take your leg over to the left, you're not pulling the leg bone out of the hip joint. Curling the toes back towards the chest, 
pressing the heel away and soften through the arm. Let your forearm relax to the ground, relax your wrist. And we'll take some time here to allow gravity to take a hold of the leg. Staying connected to your breath. Gently drawing the navel center back and again lifting the leg all the way up. Navel center hugging to your spine and then take both sides of the strap into your right arm. And we'll cross through the midline just a few inches until you feel the IT band on the left side and then pausing here. As you feel ready, you can come all the way over to the right hip. And drawing the heel in line with the hip, drawing up along the spine, and relax through the left shoulder with the option to turn your head to the left. And again, just be mindful that you're not locking your knee joint. Finding the sensation of traction through the leg. Take a couple more breaths. You can bring your head back to center. Soften the knee again. And let's slowly draw back to center. As you come up, you're shifting onto your back, relaxing your strap. Bringing the knee again to your chest, compressing the lower abdomen. Take a big full breath here. And exhale to round the spine, forehead to your knee. And let's relax the shoulder and the head back. And we'll take the left knee over towards the left armpit, letting the thigh bone hang. And we'll take some wide circles, drawing the knee back to the chest and then around and open to the side. Massaging the hip joint. Reversing the circle in the opposite direction, away from the body, down and in. And then let's rest the knee again towards the armpit, 
taking a few breaths. And we'll hug our knee back towards our chest, both knees to your chest. Taking a breath. Compress both thighs to the lower abdomen, relax through the upper back and feel into the base of the skull. And then draw both knees open to the armpits, flex your feet. Send the soles of your feet to the sky. Ankles stacked on top of knees. If you need extra support here for your back, just slide a blanket or a pillow under your sacrum. And then rest your palms anywhere along the outer leg lines. And we'll take a few breaths here. We're gonna bring a little bit of movement to the body, rocking from side to side. Letting your head sway from side to side. And back through center. Taking just a few more breaths. And then knees hug again to our chest and we'll place our feet back to the ground, back into a resting pose. Relaxing through the hip creases. Feeling the pelvis settle back to a neutral position. And then let's extend each leg in front of us. And we'll take a few moments to integrate here. Wrapping the shoulders underneath us, palms open to the sky, closing our eyes. Shavasan. Allowing the natural wave of your breath to move through you. finding some movement through your fingertips and toes, rocking your head from side to side, taking a full body stretch, interlace your fingers, reach your palms behind you, your toes forward, big breath in, and exhale, and we'll bend our knees, roll to one side of the body, and all the way up, 
and we'll close our practice together. And let me know how this practice went for you. I can feel a lot of energetic movement through my legs and my hips and through the rest of the body. And having a wonderful day, namaste. And please remember to subscribe to the channel, supporting free yoga online. Take care.